everybody else welcome back to my channel it's Walanda. so in today's video i wanted to do a little update so i decided to just do my makeup while i am updating you guys i wanted to try out this new foundation the thing about dubai is it is hard for you to purchase something and to return it i know when it comes to like the grocery stores they're not having it <laughs> it's not walmart you know if you buy something and you open it you can't be returning it like it's yours so you better make the decision in the store wisely being that i'm not out purchasing makeup to the review because my channel is not technically like a beauty channel it's just a lifestyle channel i am taking my time when it comes to actually purchasing makeup so i did want to try out this foundation i went into makeup forever in the mall and I wanted to try out that new HG skin foundation that was recently launched. Tried it out in the store. I mean, I did swatches in the store and I'm very particular when it comes to my foundation. I know exactly how I want my makeup to look and I know my undertone really, really well. It's not that hard. I'm very, very warm. I have a reddish undertone. Even though in a camera, every time I come on camera, I look very yellow but yellow does not suit me on foundations i guess my highlighted area is more yellow and then my regular undertone is more on the reddish side anyways let me go ahead and start <laughs> so i went ahead and did swatches for that hd concealer in store and the darkest shade i didn't even swatch it because it was just i just knew it was going to be too dark and she already told me the foundation oxidizes so i was like nah so i did the second to last shade but the undertone was taupey for me I, I could see a hint of olive a hint of yellow um undertone in the foundation and that's that's not a good look for me so i decided to skip on it but they do have a reboot reboots i think that's what it's called oh right it's right here yeah reboot foundation i really loved the swatch on my arm when I did it so I decided to try it out I got a little sample size of it because I do have another foundation another backup foundation that I still haven't gone into with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and currently I'm using this Fenty um, I don't know the drop I think I don't know the drop foundation that I bought a while back but I don't like the undertone of that one. I used it in my last video. I've been using it in my last couple of videos. I don't like Fendi foundations at all. I just come to a realization. Fendi foundation definitely oxidizes very bad on my skin. So I'm never buying a Fendi foundation again. I did try the first foundation that they launched years back when they launched it. I don't know if I still have that on my channel i didn't like that foundation then i still don't like it now and i tried fenty again and it's still just it's not doing it for me i've given up on fenty foundations i've just been using the urban decay born born this way so now i am kind of on a lookout just to try something different the born this way backup foundation i have i got it because i did a sponsorship with a company that allow me to get makeup so that's why i was like let me just go ahead and get something that i'm already using to have a backup so i don't have to go buy a new foundation but i'm at a point where i think i just want to try something different so i initially went into sephora so i can pick up that lady gaga house lab tri clone foundation but i only tried one sephora they don't have it i don't think they even carry that foundation in uae so Either I wait until I leave UAE in order to pick that up or that's it because I am not purchasing it online. I do not want to try to figure out my foundations online. Um, I'm past that. Um, I don't want to do it. If I cannot match myself in store and if I cannot walk around and have the foundation dry on me while I'm in store so I can get the perfect color I do not want to purchase it I've just been burnt so many times with trying to find foundation with the right undertone for me so it's just not necessary 
like right now i still have this estee lauder which i just need to throw out this double wear in espresso it looks like it will be a really good match right like on camera it looks really good but in person it's not one and then two is that taupey undercolor undertone that just does not work out for me anyway so i did get the foundation in r560 r is red i think <laughs> red yellow neutral that's how um i'm about to say fancy that's how makeup forever goes by it let me see if i can Just put it on my face. It is a luminous. Oof. Do I have? I normally wet. Let me see. Will I wet it today? I normally wet my foundations a little bit because I like a sheer look now. I don't like matte anymore. Surprisingly. I don't like matte anymore. And I don't like... Um, heavy foundations anymore. Matte foundations always have this cakey, just thick and have a white cast underneath tone. Not tone, but finish. And I don't like that. Oh, this has a fragrance. It's very faint, but you can smell it. I love the color. Like, this color reminds me so much of my born this way do i have it i should have it with me yeah like but born this way is a little bit darker is it i think born this way oxidizes just a little bit darker and born this way it catches it catches on to all of my pores anyway so that's my spiel on foundation at the moment so let's get into a little update on what's going on so uh, so I had a couple of people ask me about my vlogging. Did I give up? What am I doing? Am I going back vlogging? I'm gonna have to be like completely 100% honest with you guys. I honestly don't like to vlog. Oh, this is beautiful. Like in person, this is really pretty. I honestly don't like vlogging, y'all. I'm a private person and I love my peace. I love enjoying being in the moment. I don't care for it. And there are times like I don't mind vlogging. Like if you guys have not noticed in the past, I mainly just vlog during my moving transitions. Like when I'm moving from one apartment to another, uh, moving from one state to another, one city, one country. That's really when I, ooh. <laughs> that's when I really prefer vlogging because I do like decorating process. I like showing you guys how, you know, to create your own space. I like showing you guys the process of just moving because there are people that moves around a lot and I know it could be very helpful in other people's lives, but I don't care to show you guys my everyday, what I do on a regular. It's just, it, it's a no. I, I love my peace and quiet. So showing you guys every day every time like if i have visitors and i know it's going to be a lit um, visit where i don't mind showing you guys who came to visit me then okay i will probably vlog but other than that i love enjoying my time enjoying my moments off camera off social so it's very hard for me to pick up the camera on a regular and talk to you guys like i'd rather sit and talk to you guys like this than grab a camera and just talk to you guys and vlog so that's that now i'm not saying i will never vlog or i'm never vlogging again definitely not saying that I'm a type of person, like, I do what I want, literally. If it's not something I'm not interested in doing, I don't do it. I don't like forcing myself. I'm very grateful to where I've created 
and God has positioned me in a place where I don't have to force to do anything I don't want to do. Like, if I don't want to vlog, I don't. You know, it's just that simple. If I don't want to um, do certain contents, I just won't. You understand? I don't like forcing myself to do anything because that, at the end of the day, make me become very resentful of my job and it just becomes fake it just seems forced it seems fake and that is not the life I want to live and I'm trying to live you know I like things being very organic very free-flowing with some structure as well but I don't like forcing myself to do anything to be honest if I feel like I have to force myself to do something then I shouldn't really be doing it. You feel me? Yes, there are times I'm going to have to sacrifice some things. But forcing, sometimes it's like, nah, bro. It's not even worth it. But I like content where I could talk. Like, I like conversations. I love conversations. I love talking about, like, topics, like, real-life topics that happen. I feel like that's where... My content is going to be heading. Y'all know I'm not sitting here buying makeup and doing makeup tutorials. Y'all know I'm not sitting here, you know, doing hauls all the time. Well, if you guys do want hauls, y'all know to go to my OnlyFans. But y'all can always tell me in the comments what y'all want to watch. I can't believe it has been a year since... I've been living here. Um, I am going to do an update. Somebody did ask, am I going to do an update on Dubai? I will do an update on Dubai. Last, I, last month was February. So February was my official one year as like of when I've been in my place, when I got my apartment. But January was my official one year of when I actually took the flight and moved out here. But last month was very chaotic for me because I had to do the process of visa renewal. So I was really, really focused on that. So I will do an update on living here in Dubai. I don't know when. I'm not going to put a specific date to it. But um, I do want to I do want to give you all an update. If you guys have any questions for me when it comes to me living here in Dubai, just let me know down below and I'll add that to my update video whenever I end up doing it. You know when you're in that place where you're just content? Not complacent, content. Like, I feel like that's where I am now. And I'm 29. I've definitely enjoyed my 20s very, very much. No complaints. Yesterday, I just started to actively try to take these tags down, try to kill the circulation. So I did tie a string on each in order for me to get that dried up and it fall off. So I normally just wait until they get a little bit more protruded out. Then the base will be a little thinner. Then I could start tying it. But the fact that both of them are on my face at the same time is so annoying. And they're like right underneath my eyes. It just annoys me. So I'm trying to take them both down at the same time. Hopefully they don't grow back again together. I don't mind them being on my face. But I just need them to do it one at a time. I don't need y'all to be having a whole party on my face at the same time. Like, this don't make no type of sense. Like, this is not the assembly point. <laughs> like, what y'all doing? <sighs> okay, so I finished my base. And so far, applying the foundation was nice. It looks really, really nice. I don't see any extraness when it comes to the texture. I do have a couple of videos and work to do today. So I am going to see the wear on it or check it out. I'm not going to come back to do no wear test or anything. I love the look on this foundation. I don't bring my foundation down to my neck anymore. I used to. I think because of the Born This Way, it's, it's a little bit dark. But I think if I bring this to my neck, it will uniform it. 
I don't know. But this is my look. Like, this is what I go for now. Normally, I will. Oh, yeah, my lips. Duh. So, I made the decision not to sell the Milani Matte um, Amore. A more matte lip cream, the red one that I always use. I'm deciding not to sell this one on my website anymore because it's already at a premium being sold here in the UAE. So for me to get it here, have it shipped to the US or just have it shipped to you guys, it doesn't make any sense business wise. So I'm pretty sure you guys probably can find another lip product that is the same that is probably less expensive because it's already at a premium here so i don't want to start by i don't like starting stuff publicly and then just you know it not lasting as long as i want so being that it's i think it's already like 13 dollars here which is normally like nine eight seven in the u.s when they used to sell it, like at Walmart, Walgreens, and stuff like that, but I think it's like thirteen or seventeen dollars. Yeah, it's like almost like twenty dollars here. So fiscally, it just doesn't make any sense for me to purchase here and sell it to you guys. Because at the end of the day, for it to make sense for me, y'all gonna get a, a product. Y'all gonna be buying this product for like thirty something dollars, to be honest. And I don't think it's it's worth that when there are definitely other reds out there that are still compatible for darker skin so i think maybe i'll probably do a red series i'll probably see if i can find any other dupes out there that i don't mind wearing for you guys but as of me selling it to y'all it doesn't make any sense financially at all because i know you guys are not gonna sit here and purchase a 30 something or a almost 30 something dollar red lip product when there are definitely others out there for way lesser y'all gonna look at me like girl you just trying to bamboozle us with this lip product when i'm not it's just already about 20 dollars here so when you count shipping when you count materials you use to ship, storing, all, all of those count. Sorry. I don't know what to tell y'all, but sorry. Okay, so thank you guys for watching my little get ready with me. I'll probably let you guys know how I feel about this foundation, probably in another video. Um, but so far, I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I love how natural it looks. Yeah, you can't really see the demarcation of my line of makeup where the foundation start and when it ends uh, that was a little update of vlogging and whatever else i talked about in here if you guys like this type of video don't forget to like comment subscribe do all of that good stuff with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video